Hi guys, you're at PatternCollections.com on the website. We're going to scroll down and the next one we're going to do is Leaf Fan. I already started this, uh, uh, it's going to be this week, this whole month pretty much. All of the uh, patterns are going to be uh, three of them on each week. We're going to put into one drawing. So I've already started. And the second part is going to be this one called Leaf Fan. Easy one to do. Super easy. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a shape with as many arms as you want. So you want to make like a stem. And then you want to put as many arms as you feel like putting. Then from those arms, you're going to make some branches if you want and at the end of each of those branches pardon me I do have a dog with me today I'm pet sitting and she's making a lot of noise you may or may not be able to hear her but anyway at the end of each of these branches you put a little blob and then you just go around the entire shape lumpty bumps and that's it. This one's super cute. I like how she hid a little ladybug in there. Very cute. I like the way she's colored it in. Um, I like how on her little bumps, she's got a little white dot. Um, might be easier for me to just put the white dot from the gel pen rather than coming back with or trying to go around that spot. So anyways, I want couple of leaves coming out. I've decided this is the pattern we did last time. It's called Folk Flower. If you didn't see me draw this one, go back one day or one, one video. It was the previous video. Um, and so on this page, I'm going to put uh, these. I'm going to put a couple of the leaves and then I'm going to put Quirly in the background. So um, we're just going to do a couple leaves and um, oops, I forgot to put away my colored pencils from yesterday and I need to do that because if I don't put them away right away in their spots, I lose them. I honestly do, which is not good. Okay. Alrighty, so let's do, we're going to use, today we're using a Copic Multiliner, size 0.2. And I'm going to have one coming out from here. I want it to come out from under all of these. Like that. Could be little wider like that just like that and then I want my branches to kind of come this way and maybe that way maybe one that way and one that way maybe one here and we're gonna just branch out like so on that one and then we'll do that one but we'll do this one first so then at the end of each of these we want to put a little like teardroppy shape wow what is all going on today facebook messages and Messenger messages. Good gracious. Oh, 
that's these this is a really easy one it's not going to take much to do but when you combine more than one pattern into a drawing then you have a completed cohesive thing and I'm I don't often show you how I can combine more than one pattern into a work. I'm more, most of the time, I'm more just learning how to do a particular pattern. But for the most part on this one, except for this flowery thing, um, I, uh, I think I want one more here. I haven't, I've used these patterns before, so I don't really need to learn them. Um, I'm going to go. Like so. that. So there's one leaf and then I want one coming out this way. Something like that, maybe. I haven't much left much room for Corley, so I'm gonna have to put the Corley up in here. I was gonna leave more room between the two leaves, but somehow I didn't. And that's okay. I just follow my gut. Just like so, and that one's covered up back behind that other leaf, and then we're just going to go lumpy bumps, and that would go around here, and that would go around here, and that would maybe go around there, and then this one's going to come up like that, and around like so. missing a, a seed pod like that. Okay. There we go. There's our leaves. Wrong direction. And I made them really big. So over here is where I'm going to have to put that quirly. So this is leaf fan. And yes, it's got two F's in it. And then I can color because I want to color. I want this to be a nice, colorful drawing. So let's get some greens out. Um, 
to start with a really light lime green. And then what's this? This is called cad green. And do we have a do no this one okay these are going to be my three greens i like to have three you've noticed probably i like to have three colors so these are going to be my three greens that might not be deep enough i may have to get a different one okay we got leaf green light cad green and juniper green i'm going to start with the cad the leaf green light and just color this whole thing. And what I have to decide is, is my, oops, there's some, there's some pencil line in there I don't want. And along here. Is my leaf going to be like darker in the middle and lighter toward the outside? Is it going to be like her sample where it's kind of a, a gradient of color from one side to the other? I don't rightly know. But first we're going to start with the lightest color. That's where I always start when I color something. I just decide on my general color palette and I start with my lightest one. As you can always go darker, you can't go lighter. At least not very easily. Not like not like painting with acrylic paints where you can go light on top of on top of your whatever it is you're doing. Start with the light green, and then let's go with this medium green. I can't tell. Is that going to be a medium green, or is that going to be a dark green? Let me look on the back compared to this and compared to that. Oh, that's actually the darker one. Interesting. Okay. It's a different shade. These two are similar in tone, but one is um, more blue and one is more yellowy brown. So do I want to go more toward this or shall I change this color to Those two are too similar. Uh, well, that's better. Okay, I'm changing it out to Castle Green Deep. And I think I want it to be darker. In the middle. Like that. Kind of where the stems are. And then maybe around the edge a little. like this. That'll work. And I think maybe just a little around the edges. That 
that's where that overlaps. So the, obviously the overlapping has to have a shadow. Something like this. I am just enjoying my day. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Hope you do something, whether it's drawing or painting or going for a walk or just sitting and watching YouTube. I hope you're doing something that you're really enjoying today. Not just kind of doing it just because you don't know what else to do, but really enjoying it. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying my day today and it's making me happy and you know there are some days where you just have to do all the all the stuff that makes you uh, anxious or annoyed or just tired and there are then there's those days where you can just do what makes you happy and that you enjoy today is one of those days for me it is I'm drawing this on Mother's Day in the United States. Um, and I'm just taking time for myself to do what I want to do. And, and I'm really, really enjoying myself. I'm not worrying about if there's, you know, meals to make. I'm not worrying about if there's anything to do. I don't have to go to work today. I'm not, I have things that I really should get done, but I've decided, you know what, today, today is going to be a me day. I'm going to go ahead and just take care of myself and enjoy myself. Because, you know what, I deserve it. We all deserve to have a day where we take some time out for ourselves. It's not selfish. It's not um, taking away from others. As, as you um, do something that is really healthy for yourself, for your mental well-being, you become a better person and you're able to, put, to share that with others. Um, and, and, and you can go out and have a better day and be kinder to other people because you were kind to yourself. You know? So, I hope you do that today or soon. If you don't have time today, I understand that. Some days you just don't have time. Some days you've come home from work, you've kicked off your shoes, you've turned on YouTube, and that's all you can manage. I get it. That's most of my days. But then there's these rare days, once every couple of weeks, where, like, sometimes I come out here and YouTube is, like, I... I have to get it do done. It's it's a job for me for that day. It's not necessarily, I mean, I enjoy myself, but it's not necessarily the, the thing I really want to do today. Um, th today is different. Today, I really want to do this today. I'm just enjoying myself. And um, I don't know if it's the fact that the patterns are simple and I've done them before, or if it's just because it's Mother's Day and I've decided... I'm just going to pamper myself today, or if, um, I don't know what it is. Or if it's just because I'm coloring and I'm enjoying the colors. Whatever it is, it's just making me happy. Happy, happy, happy. I think I want some of this the color I used on that other one, Oxide of Chrome. It's really interesting, kind of a grayish green. I'm going to use that for some deeper shadows. I 
because that other color wasn't quite enough for these super deep shadows. Like that. I'm not being super precise. I'm being kind of sloppy with it because I think I think when you try to be too precise and then you're not, you know, you're precise in, in a lot of stuff and then you have this one spot where you're not precise, then it throws it all off. But if you are just not precise on purpose throughout the whole thing, somehow it comes together better. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I hope I've explained that well. And I like having multiple colors. You might not be able to see it on the screen, but your eye really picks up that, that it's not all one shade or all one color, that it's multiple things and that, that there's a deepness and more richness to what you're working on. That one was a little bit more out of the, a little too sloppy. I will come in here and try to fix that. I don't know if I can. Some of these colored pencils do not erase well. So, yeah, good enough. Not completely, but like I said, it makes it look handmade. It looks, it looks, when you're kind of sloppy with the whole thing, that one little slop doesn't really bother you so much. Like that. Yeah. Just straight in the middle like that, I think. I think I just want to give this whole side a little bit darker. Like that. Let's try... Let's try this color again over this whole leaf. This leaf needs to be a little bit darker than the top leaf, but not by much, just a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a little once over with this darker color one more time like that. Yep, it's just slightly darker. I like that. I think I'm going to pop a little yellow on top of this one to even brighten it more and make a bigger contrast with the dark with the one on the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to put just the slightest amount of yellow over here, just so that the yellow is not out of place over there. But only on that one side, like it's highlighted over there. And then I'm going to come in with my white pen. And I'm going to put those little white dots. Make sure my pen is working. That's the problem with the gel pens is they don't. That, and I'm going to put some little highlights just like that. And maybe, maybe some other spots. Yep.
Okay, that's fine. I like that. I want that to be shinier on the one on top though. A little bit more of the white. There we go. Okay. So there's the second one. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it nice and close for the second pattern. And then there it is as a whole. I like how that's coming out. So leaf fan is that one. And then we'll finish it up with some quirly and then put a border around it and give it a finished look. Um, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. You guys go out and have a good day. I will see you on the next video and go out and do something nice for someone today. Bye-bye.